so welcome back in the last video we learned how to set the campaign networks location and the language out of all these settings the most important setting is the location so be very careful while selecting for your location that you want to use in your search campaign so let us discuss few more phases of designing the search campaigns next we have audience settings here we have the option to add the audience that google has recently introduced in the search campaigns i will talk about it in detail during the display campaigns but let me briefly give you an idea about what it is all about here we have three different options to select for like search browse and ideas in the first step you may select the audience from the browse option where the first option is who they are like detailed demographics again here we have various categories to select like parental status marital status education and home ownership status to select an appropriate audience just click on drop down menu and you will see there are number of options and sub options to precisely target your audience like parental marital status and education because we are running a campaign for mba admission so education would be the right demographics to target the audience I am selecting bachelor degree and current college going student as my audience. And lastly the home ship ownership status. You can see on the right hand side three categories are selected. Similarly, you can search for categories or Google will suggest you few categories on the basis of categories selected by you. To use this option, you have to select at least one category. The second category of audience that you can browse is in market audience. It simply means you can target the audience on the basis of what they are actively searching or planning for. Google fetches this data about the users on the basis of their behavior on the internet. You may select the right option as per your audience. This list is very comprehensive up to very precise level. This is the beauty of Google Ads when it comes to the targeting of the audience. Lastly, we have the remarketing. We will talk about it in the respective module. Next, let it be the default. Here, it's not mandatory to make the audience settings. If you want to proceed further without selecting any audience category, you can do that also. But it's always suggested to select an appropriate audience category from the audience list next we have the most important setting of search campaign that is budgeting and bidding in this section you will set your budget and bidding for the respective campaigns each time the campaign has different option in this section you will set the budget and bidding for the respective campaign each type of campaign has different options first we have to set our budget say 1000 rupees the important point here is that your daily spend may be more or less than this sometimes your ad is getting more clicks on particular day google will not stop showing your ads once daily budget is exhausted it will continue to show your ads and may utilize the twice the daily budget set by you however the overall budget for the month will not increase from the set budget for example in this case i set a budget of rupee 1000 the monthly budget will be 1000 multiplied by 30.4 which comes to be 30400 here 30.4 is nothing it is the average number of days in a month you can see 365 divided by 12 next we have the delivery method let it be default as standard that simply means your budget will be utilized evenly on all the days with some increase or decrease that we have just discussed don't select the accelerated budget method 
as it will quickly drain out your budget just in the beginning of the month only. Next we have set the bidding. I hope you know that what is a bid. This is the maximum amount that you would like to pay if your ad is clicked. First we have to take the decision whether you want to only for impression or the clicks. Clicks here means if someone clicks your ad and impression share is the percentage of impression that your ad received compared to the total number of impression that your ad could get just select the clicks here i want to use the manual cpc strategy as by default this option is not available select the bid strategy directly and select the manual cpc there is no hard and fast rule to set your maximum cpc bid it can vary on the basis of your competitors in the industry and other factors you can just start your bid on the trial basis and based on the performance of your ad you can increase or decrease the cpc bid at any time similarly you can also increase and decrease the budget amount at any time when your campaigns are in progress we will set our bid amount at the ad level Next we have few more campaign settings like conversion I will talk about it later we are not focusing on the conversions right now Next we have the ad scheduling as discussed earlier if you want you need not to run your ad for 24 hours and 7 days to show your ad on a particular day or days you can select this option you can also select a specific day from here on which you want to show your ad just explore these options next we have the rotation of ads as discussed earlier under one campaign you may design multiple ads few ads may perform well but others may not If you select this option Google will try to show your maximum performing ads so let it be default So we have completed the very important phase of search campaigns things are not yet over in the next video i will explain various types of extensions to make your ad more impressive so just join me